Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome back to the Crested Gaming Lounge, or I mean, Unboxing Lounge, I guess? We've had one of these weird videos before where I like unbox the crafting kit. Like, it feels like a hundred years ago now since I did that last time. So, um, now we're going to unbox a keyboard. This is going to be my first sort of like mechanical keyboard that I've ever owned, I think. Uh, we, we splurged and got one. This is still considered budget, I think. I have no idea the... was it like 170-ish dollars around there? That is still considered very budget, apparently, when you're dealing with mechanical keyboards. You could probably go lower, but this is what I could get a hold of that is still considered, you know, budget and that has an actual Nordic layout for the keycaps. You have no idea how difficult that is to actually get a hold of unless you research it. And, you know, my girlfriend has researched this for many hours and <laughs> this is what we came to the conclusion was the best option. And why is it important that it has the Nordic layout? Well, it is important that it has the Nordic layout because I'm a Swedish <laughs> man and, you know, without our extra letters, I know it's, you know, you, you probably you guys outside of the Nordic countries don't understand this, but we use something called O, A and <laughs> which is three, you know, weird freaking letters that nobody else use. Um, I, I guess maybe the Germans can sort of like also feel the pain. Yeah, and the UK also has yeah, UK, different. Yeah, UK has some different layouts. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna unbox this thing, which is the actual, uh, you know, keyboard. Uh, and we're also going to unbox this thing here, which is some extra keycaps that I got, you know, because why not? <laughs> why, why, why will I add it, you know? So we're gonna unbox this as well. It's just gonna be basically here. Look at these keycaps. It's not gonna be much. But this one is what we're gonna start with, I think. Uh, I have again I have no idea what the name of this is. How do you pronounce this? Da da Dariu? Daruru? <laughs> it's weird. Da Dari it, 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 I think it's called A87L at least. That should be like the and the product name. And it's the dream version. The dream version. I have no it's idea a, what that means. It, it was the, uh, <laughs> it's the paint on it. Ah, uh, it's the paint job. So yeah. the dream is basically the paint job. This is the model number. Mm. So, um... It's a hot swap, a hot swappable. Yes. Uh, mechanical key. Ba 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 basically what that means is like most mechanical keyboards you can switch out the keycaps. Hot swappable means that you can switch out the, um, the switches. The switches, yes, you can switch out the switch. The, the, you can uh, switch out the switches on all mechanical keyboards, but you don't need to solder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, why. That, that's basically what hot, swap, yeah. hot swappable means. Because yeah. if it's not that, you have to, you know, be able to solder and stuff like that. And if, it, if I did that, if you've seen my other unboxing video, I would probably solder myself to the keyboard because I shake very hard and that would not work. So, um, yeah, sit tight, and we're going to unbox this thing again, get a bit of a closer look to it. Let's do it. Right, okay, so now we have this little bit of a more better view for you guys. You don't have to see my face anymore. You get to see my weird, you know, skeleton hands instead. So we're going to open the box as the unboxing would, you know, eh, suggest. So we're going to open it. Oh, yes. It's a nice box. Oh, that's a... I have to bend it a bit so I can, I can see myself. <laughs> Move there. Right, me. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah. There. See, there, there's this little protective thing here. We're going to remove that as well so you can actually see what the heck is going on underneath it. We're going to just move that out of the way. We don't need that. Oh, I, I think it's like in some kind of plastic yep. bag. Yes, it is. I think we're just going to like remove this entire... Uh, thing. Because uh, there's like this inner can box. Can you do that? Yeah, uh, it, it's yeah. like an inner box. Yeah. Uh, not quite. Nope, you can't. You have to do that. We have to do that. There you go. So we're gonna move the box out of the way. That's like the least important Ooh, thing. Ooh, it's heavy! Is there anything in there? Yep, before I move ah, it. Ah, good, 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 good. <laughs> I have dropped a cable! It was nothing important, don't you worry. <laughs> So here you have the like little cable. This is the uh, like it's not wireless, so this is basically what you do to you know plug it into the. And it's just a normal cable. It's not braided. No, no. there is a um, a keycap remover in here. Oh, there it's... is. <laughs> I actually purchased an extra one because I wasn't certain. I'm gonna open this little goodie bag so you see what is in there. So it's basically like this. It's, it's like a normal USB to USB C, I think. Uh, connection, so you just plug that into your computer. 
So yeah, we actually, I did purchase this extra because there was nothing in the product description of the keyboard saying that I was going to get like a... I don't remember the verb. No, the like, okay, there, there's also some product placement there if you know the company who's done that. <laughs> Sponsor me, please, if you know who you are. So, I actually, I think this is the exact same yes, type almost. of... Uh, actually, this is just the, the keycap remover part. Um, yeah, it doesn't I have the double. I think you can bend it. Yes, it is yeah, double. It is so bendable it is. in this end. So it is both a keycap and a switcher. Yeah, it is bendable. Remover. Yeah. So this is the keycap remover end. This is the, the switch remover part. Because you have to like get in under everything to like plop it out. I think the rest of this is just like a little instructional manual. Yeah, it's just a small pamphlet. It's like, you know, a user manual, <laughs> quick setup, whatever. It's a keyboard. <laughs> yeah, it, it quick setup is plug it in, plug it into your computer. But, but it has RGB, but not not a full RGB. It has no. a light blue, ice yes, blue background. Yes, it is like an ice blue background, which actually, for me, that is perfect. Because I am not a big fan of this whole, like, RGB, like, disco gaming thing. Mm -hmm. I never use any of those settings anyways. It's completely meaningless. But enough jibber jabber. We're going to get it out of the bag. This is heavy. <laughs> I guess for all of you who like measure in non-freedom units, maybe like it's two to three kilograms, I would maybe ah, guess. Is it that big? Yeah, maybe, maybe. It's uh, pretty heavy, you, actually. It, it compared to your old one. Uh, well, I mean, basically, I have a really old, big-ass keyboard that is probably... <laughs> I don't know, it probably cost me about 20 30 dollars when I bought it. It mm. was like nothing. You know, it's one of those basic shit keyboards you can buy anywhere. But usually comes also with a mouse. <laughs> yeah, this one did it though. This was a, a bit more high quality. It didn't come together with a mouse a headset and like monitor, I don't know. No, no, take yes. it out of it. So, let's, uh, out of the bag. Um, let's see here if I can figure this out. Oh, there's like a little bit of a... You know what, I'm gonna turn it this way. I'm gonna ha have to put it on its keys. The... Uh, it seems to be kind of like heat welded. So you want the heat? Yeah, it seems to be heat welded together. It's like I, I thought it was just like a sticky seal, but it's um, actually heat welded together there. So we're not gonna get in unless we see if I can maybe just cut a little hole in it. You know, like poke a hole oh, in it. Please be careful. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be careful. <laughs> it's my keyboard. I don't want to break it. <laughs> I paid good money for that one. Yes, but yeah, I, I get, it, it, it is a gift for my girlfriend for my, my birthday, which is in one day, actually, when this is being recorded. So tomorrow. So tomorrow, yes. The 31st of May, unless, you know... So there we go, I can actually... Oh, it has feet. Yes, it has, it has like little rubber feeties. We're gonna, I'm gonna remove it completely so you guys see it properly. I'm gonna unsheath it. <laughs> I can't see that. <laughs> I'm going to unsheath it from its, its prison. So we're gonna, it's just rubber feet at the bottom, I'm not yeah, gonna show you that. No, and then what's, what's those, those who can fit? Uh, oh yeah, but, yeah. yeah the, 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 these things, like all of, like most keyboards have these type of like retractable mm. feet. Oh, yeah, they so were heavy duty. Yeah, yeah, so you can angle oh. them in a, a bit of a more, there's even a position to put the yeah. cable in, if yeah, you want to like yeah, uh, put it to the, cable, the side. Uh, yeah. What is it called? Cable slot. Yeah, because like you do have your little, I think you have the yeah. entryway there, and then you can like, move it in any of these slots yep, yep. to get it out of the way. Maybe you have your PC on this side, or just to get it away out of the sort of... But it, it's uh, heavy. It one. is heavy. We're gonna flip it out. See, it's purple. It's magical. Wow! It is very nice. See, I, I really enjoyed this one. Um, I've been looking at many of these mechanical keyboards that are like oh, black and white, you know, these basic colors. But most of the really unique ones I've looked at, you can't get a hold of a a Nordic layout, but as you can see here, these are our special letters. It's like <laughs> So you see the the enter bar is different. Yes. And also we have the uh, over here are different. Oh they are oh, they're a bit slanted aren't they? Yeah uh, no uh, that key. That key doesn't exist oh, on the the others. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah that's the, a special the, those key, are yeah. those are usually divided up into two so you have oh. a longer I actually have a, a proper little tabby tab oh, there. It felt nice. It, it is really good. I don't remember, what was the switches? The switches are... What were they Violet like? Gold. Violet Gold, mm. that was the switches, right. 
it, it's a bit of a, a weird one because we've looked at this keyboard at many other places, uh, including their own website. Yeah, where and, they have the ANSI yeah, keyboard. And it mm. doesn't come with, like, th these type of switches mm. doesn't come as standard in any of the other no, versions. No, I've tried to figure out the information about it, but it seems like it's this is the version 2 of of this keyboard. Yeah, may, may, maybe it's so new that there's like the most websites haven't updated yeah, their usually information. Usually they come with the the, uh, the red, the, the brown and the blue switches. Yeah, the, those are, are the basic mm. ones. That, so I, I have no idea what the this switch is supposed to be equivalent to. That is... Uh, that was very, very... Uh, yeah, a lot. It's yeah. a lot. The, 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 that, one, that one is really nice. Yeah, the, but the, there seems to be a good stabilizer here, because like, like the, the, there's a stabilizer usually under these bigger keys so that they don't rattle too much. Yeah, but I think... It doesn't rattle too I, much. I don't know. I, I would probably uh, need a different switch under it to feel better about it. Yeah, I mean, I, I usually don't. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm a big gamer. I'm not like I'm big on typing and stuff like that. No, so no, for no. me, this doesn't really no, concern so, so, too much. No, so I think this switch was about for uh, had a pressure of forty five. Um, the regular blues have a fifty. Right, right, okay. And it has the travel distance of a of a shorter travel dish, distance than regular keys. So it is mm -hmm. kind of like a medium of a gaming switch. Yeah. It feels really good though, it feels very comfortable. It, it feels sturdy. It's really sturdy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, as can... you can see, the, the, these are magneted on, right? Yeah, it's just magnets. Yeah, so, so the, 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 there's this like front face here that can eh, actually be removed. Yeah, so you can actually remove it and paint it and such. Yeah. Wait, 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 what was it under it? What was under it? Oh, it was. Oh, okay, it's just for the, uh, the that yeah. thing. Okay. So it, it is actually magnetized on there, so even if you like would flip it over, it doesn't just fall mm. off. It's actually. Magneted on there, so yeah. If like you know, you could paint it potentially, or you could just yeah. get a new one. Yeah. If you want to modify it, it it's yeah. perfect for modifying. Or if you're into three D printing, you mm -hmm. can probably just three D print your own yeah, one. Yeah. It's not gonna have the magnet part, but then you can just have your own front cover that like fits. Because like face it, most people might actually get new keycaps at some point, mm -hmm. and since this is purple, it might not quite fit everything. I mean, I'd say if you get black keys, yeah. it's gonna work, or white, anything like that, like the mm. more mellow colors is gonna work together with purple, but... But I must say, it's really pretty, that the print on it yeah. is really nice. I mean, honestly, I, I probably would have been happy just like with these being a bit different, mm. like the, you know, arrow keys being like Birds. odd and unique. Mm. But since they actually put the effort in making the enter key and the space bar a little bit, you know, more... Artistic. Yeah, and your escape is also because it says dream. Oh, it says dream mm. at the escape. So, so I guess the other one, the the swallow one, is probably saying swallow up there. Mm, yeah, the, uh, this, um, I, I, I will I will probably put the the company name of this or like their website in the mm. description so you can go check them out. They, I mean, they do sell them at many resellers online as well. You could probably find them on Amazon or whatever. No, but... you couldn't. I say that, that, that that's the thing because we only found them. At the Max Gaming store. But... <sighs> and they weren't, like, selling them on their own. No. So I don't know how, how people are going to get but, them. But, I mean, that... Because we've only checked, like, the European Amazon yeah, yeah. Kind of websites. Like, uh, so, I mean, the, the com and the Swedish one. Yeah, so, I mean, so, so, I mean if we... Like, Maybe. yeah, so, so, I mean, if you're in, like, you know, the like, anywhere in the, you know, US, Canada, whatever, mm. you can probably check, like, Amazon.com and it will... Because it's so massive. There were probably going to be someone that sells them. Mm. It's probably easier for me to just put the actual brand website there and you can check them out. Because they have many more of these like really unique looking colors yeah. and appearances. We, it's just really nice. There were only two available for us, two colors. Yeah. And it and was that is, this uh, one and it was the, the, the baby blue one. Yeah, for all of you who wonder, we did get this from Max Gaming or it's, I think it's called Max Gaming FPS or something mm. like that, the whole brand. For, for all of you who live in Sweden or like in the Nordic countries, mm. you would most definitely know what that is. It's where you get some of these more like unique gaming equipments. <laughs> it's usually only from there you can get some of these things, which is really good for me. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna move this out of the way now because you've had a, a good look at it. So we're gonna look at the um, the keycaps. You're getting a bit of a close up there as well, yeah. Yes. Why not? Now we're just gonna look at the keycaps. These are like extremely basic um it's just yeah, like the cage room yeah I, I i like the you know retro style of these like the retro looking thing 
It's like the whole, this like grey, white and red. It just like, it spoke to me, you know. I am a very old man. <laughs> I know, okay, I like the retro style. But it wasn't grey, it was the beige ones. It, oh, is it the, yeah, like... Yeah, you, you want the beige yeah, ones. Yeah, I, I was looking at those really beige, you know, half yellowish ones where you're like, you know the ones, right, you, that you got from your, on your Commodore 64 PCs and stuff like that. Here we go. See, they're just neatly tucked in here. Yeah, two layers. In two layers, yeah, so you have like the basic ones here, I guess, and then you have like some of the more specialized ones, maybe. Yeah, so you yeah. have the ISO ones. So you have like the Enter one. You have some, you have one F key here for some reason alone. And then the key. Ooh, uh, these you, are... you have different uh, F9s. I will say these almost, they have like a kind of like a wood feeling to them. It feels very like. Oh God, they're super slippery. Like the, the texture is very odd. They're very small. They are very small. Yeah, but they are small on this. Yeah. They aren't very big. Maybe it's just because we're so used to the old cheap ones. Well, yeah, that... That, that and like since they're yeah. laid out so, in this so there way. Are, so there are a few of these that you can change out that are so like that. That is the F9 key and that is the F9 key. Oh, right. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can like get them in black. Yeah, so, so, so this up. is the ANSI and the uh, the ISO Nordic. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I think it's the ISO UK too. Probably. Uh, maybe not. No, it's not. It's just the ISO Nordic and the ANSI. Yeah. Well, I mean, honestly, since we are, you know, yeah. in Sweden, this is, it fits us. Yeah. And then it's also the Apple. Um... Oh, the Apple. Yeah. Mm. If, um, in, in case you would have an Apple product, mm. I don't know why you would do that, but you know, maybe you do. <laughs> I'm sorry to look better. So. Mm. So yeah, like they, they, this is kind of the problem when you have a, a, a like a, a, a key layout that is so different from what everyone else use. Like we have extra you know, letters that no one else have. It's super hard not only to find a keyboard that has that the right layout. That is hot swappable yeah, and... That has the right layout. Game. And then finding, if you want extra keycaps, that is also, a, you know, a headache in itself, trying to find those. Mm. But, like, we found these at Max Gaming as well, right? So all of this was from Max <clears> Gaming. Yeah. It's like, all of it is from the same company. It's... Yeah, that's where we found all of it. Mm. We couldn't really track it down anywhere else within like a reasonable price, you know, range. We probably could have contacted like an artist at Etsy or something, but then we would have had to pay yeah, out yeah, of the nose. Yeah, I mean, we, we could have like bought ANSI and then just, or, uh, or not an ANSI, a UK one or a Dutch one, and have gotten the keys that was supposed to represent the things that we have. Yeah, because it's it, it has the same amount yeah, of keys. Yeah, it has keys. the same layout and yeah. the same amount of keys. So we could just have then maybe gotten a, a new key cap mm. uh, collection that has the Nordic uh, letters, but this worked out. <laughs> we got all of it in the same bundle. Yeah, I so, think... Uh, so now we're going to plug it into the computer and yes. watch the RGB. Yes, the that's RGB what we're gonna do. within quotation marks. Yes, and if you want to see that too, you're gonna have to come to my stream because that's I will probably show it off there. Too, yeah. Yes, I will show it off there, like in more detail. Me, you see it, you know. So, no more sneak peeks for you on YouTube. You're gonna have to come yeah. to my Twitch. Yes, we can show a little. <laughs> yeah, there, there will, might, might be like a the short rolls. or something. <laughs> I, I could probably make a short of this, yeah. just you know, uploading so you guys can see it in, in use. But uh, so far, I think this is gonna be it for this little unboxing thing. There might be some more small videos coming of this uh, very soon. And uh, there will be more crafting, don't you worry. If you've seen the crafting video, the beginning of the crafting video, that will be coming too, okay? <laughs> I haven't forgotten it for all of you who want more of that. So, uh, but yeah, this is going to be the wrap-up, I think, of this. So until the next time, guys, I hope you have a great morning, day or night, wherever you might be. And if you can't wait until the next video, I do stream over at Twitch TV. That will also be in the description below. So see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.